what's up everybody it's your boy randall d tech geek rld back again with another video today we're going to take a look at the sabrent or sabrent usb 3.0 sata hard drive docking station yes a usb docking station for a hard drive for hard disk drive so of course the purpose of this is so that you can take these hard drives like this one here is two terabytes or this one here it's three terabytes by Seagate Barracuda, Barracuda edition, Seagate brand. But anyways, it's, a it's going to take this and allow me to hook these hard drives up via USB to my smart TVs or to a laptop or to a computer, things like that. Of course, you know, with a computer, when you're building a desktop computer, you just, you know, plug these connect connectors on the inside. But at the moment... I don't have a desktop computer. All I have is a laptop and my phone. So all, even all these videos that I'm making, all of them are being created on my phone, but I need access to the files and data on these two hard drives. And like I said, this one's three terabytes. The other one here is two terabytes. And the purpose of this is so that, you know, I got movies and music and stuff on these, and I wanna be able to plug both of these devices or one of them at a time to my 4K TVs or to the Xbox or to my daughter's laptop so I can re regain access to these files. So without further ado, let's do a quick unboxing and let's see what's on the inside. So this is gonna be a little complicated. I couldn't find my tripod to hold the phone or my camera so I can do this more stably or do this with two hands. So I'm gonna do this with one hand and see what I can do. So let's take a look at the inside. Okay. Nice little packaging. Everything's nice and neat. Okay, nice quality. So this is the docking station itself. We'll put that to the side. And we'll get everything unwrapped and all that. You can take this out. This little panel, take that out. Put that to the side. And let's see here. You get your USB cable. USB 3.0 cable. Look at that. Woo! With the blue tip. Okay, USB USB 3.0 cable. What else we got? Got the power cable. I can go ahead and just slide that out. Got the power cable, AC adapter. Little of this, little of that. You know, nothing too shabby. Let's take a take a look at the wattage and voltage. You know, you could pause the video if you want to read that information. But anyways, power cable. Put that to the side. And we got some pamphlets and booklets. Spread the love online. Your reviews help us make the right choice. Sabrent. Sabrent has you covered. It's either Sabrent or Sabrent. And here's the information to the company if you want to look into that. So let's put that to the side. And of course you got what looks like an instruction manual. But I'm pretty sure it's straightforward. We know this is... If, if you're into computers and USB docking stations and all that good stuff. You probably don't need that. You probably probably not gonna need that. So, all right. So here's everything outside the box. Like I said, you got the USB cable, AC adapter, and the item itself. And let's take a look at the item. It's pretty fancy. I like this for just $19.99 on Amazon. You cannot beat this. So there's a power indicator light. There's a power button to turn your hard drive connection on and off. And like down here, there's an air vent, or when I put a hard drive in, that may take up all that space, but we'll see. Up top right here, you got where you plug in your USB 3.0 cable and the DC adapter, or AC adapter, or however you want to call it. Direct current, or alternating current, whatever you want to use. This is the bottom, serial number. I like how the feet right here, there's some grip. So it doesn't slide around when it's on your entertainment stand or your table, where we got it at. It won't slide around. Your hard drive won't be moving. So let me set this on top of the box. And it's like a little, there's a little groove right here. So you can open it up. So we'll just slide this open. Woo, and look at it. Look how it's like there's a little clear, clearness to it. Transparent. So you can see your hard drive inside it. This is nice. Look at this. And of course, on the inside right here, you can see your SATA power and SATA data connection right there. 
which is where these guys come in. Let me grab a two terabyte just in case something breaks. I'd rather break a two terabyte instead of a three terabyte. So let's take this hard drive, for example. And as you can see, the connectors are right there, the SATA and data connections with a power and SATA connection. I think. So you just take your hard drive, see if I can do this uh, with one hand, with my phone and my other hand. And as you can see, you just slide it in. Let me go ahead and push it in real quick. Bear with me as far as camera interaction. And yes, it just plugs straight in. Just like that. Woo! No screws needed, no screwdriver, no drill, no power tools, no nothing. Look at that. And you can see the hard drive through the transparent window right here. Woo-wee! I like that. I like that. Okay. It's a little room right there, so maybe can, the hard drive can breathe. So it don't get too hot. It does add some extra weight to it. I can feel that, you know, the weight of it. Of course, you're holding a hard drive plus the enclosure. But yes, this is nice. This is nice, you guys. So look at that. Yeah, that's that's nice. This was worth $19.99. Yes, this is the best $19.99 I done spent in a long time. But yes. Okay, so we're going to go test it out. So I'm going to take this and this, take this, and let's go over here to the living room. I'm come back for the hard drive later. Let's go over here to the living room real quick. And I got multiple devices to test this on. So as you can see right here, this controller or headphone stand, there's two USB ports right there. Oh, it's dirty. I need to get that cleaned off. It's all dusty. Anyways, I there's two USB ports. And this cable it is ran up this cable strip to the TV. So back here in the back of the TV, I'm not sure if it's going to focus, but yeah. On the back of the TV right there, there's a USB cable running from that device up the cable strip into the TV. So when I make a connection right here and plug the USB hard drive to one of those USB slots, it should automatic the TV should automatically be able to see this hard drive once I plug it up. And then that'll give this TV access to seeing all the movies and music and pictures that's on this hard drive. That's the purpose of this. And at the same time, this is my daughter's laptop that this headphone stand is sitting on. So on the side of her laptop, there's USB ports on the side where the HDMI connection is at and the ethernet connection. There's a USB port right there on the side, side of her laptop. So when I plug this to that USB port, then that gives my daughter's laptop access to a three terabyte hard drive or two terabyte hard drive, whichever I have inside this enclosure. I may buy another one of these. This is 1999 to upgrade any device to whatever hard drive size you have inside of the case, you cannot beat that. So let me, let's test this out real quick. Let's test this out on the TV first. I'm curious to see what's, I forgot what was even on this hard drive. So let's make the connection to the TV using that headphone stand and we'll see what kind of multimedia capabilities this TV has. So stay tuned. All right, you guys. So immediately as soon as i plugged in the hard drive and pressed the power button as you can see you can see the hard drive indicator light as soon as i plugged it in my tv immediately says do you want to browse the files from the connected device so yes yes we do let's do that i'm scared to see what's on here okay because i have not browsed this hard drive in years it's been years so i don't know what's on here so i'm not going to go too in depth on what's on this hard drive you might see some illegal content you might see some drug content ain't no telling but anyways yes it works and as you can see in the corner it says 1.8 terabytes and there's about one gigabyte free of data 900 gigabytes free about one terabyte left out of two and it's it's working that simple so there we go let's click on this folder let's let's try to play a video let's see here uh, 
What videos is on here? I'm scared. Okay, 4K movies. As you can see right there, 4K USD movies. This is Sonic the Hedgehog 2 in 4K. Okay, okay. Okay, little of this, little of that. So this two terabyte hard drive, I used it for game storage and for my 4K USD, UHD movies. So of course the other hard drive will have other content. So while that's playing, let's take a look at the USB hard drive again. And as you can see, you can see the hard drive itself through the enclosure. Let me change my aperture and focus. So yeah, you can see all that information. Oh, let's turn the volume down. Let's turn the volume down. Or YouTube hit me with copyright strikes. I don't want that. So as you can see, the hard drive is blinking. Or well, the hard drive enclosure is blinking, showing activity. And you can see the you can see see what hard drive you have attached through the clear the transparent casing. And yeah, I need, I need to do some cable management. You know, I got wires everywhere. But this is just for temporary purposes for this video. But yeah, it was that simple. Just a power cable, USB cable, USB 3.0 at that. And it came, the USB cable came in the box. USB 3.0, of course, plugging into this device downgrades the, the data speed to a USB 2.0 speed. But if you make this connection to a desktop or gaming computer that has USB 3.0, you will get 3.0 speeds. But, and then also right here is the power button. And I can hear the hard drive. You can hear it spun up and everything. So let's press this and see what happens. That turns off the hard drive. TV says to avoid any possible data loss, unplug the USB storage and choose eject and things of that nature. So let's turn it back on. You hear a hard drive spinning up. And it's still on media player on my TV. Indicator light is blinking. Connecting storage device. Connecting. Still connecting. Some files may not be recognizable. Do you want to open Save right now? Open now. Check and repair. I'll look into that later. But open now. Features of this TV. I swear. This TV does everything. Come up here to Saber. And yes, now I'm back to my media. Let's plug it to the laptop and see what happens. It's probably going to just recognize it as a USB thumb drive. But let's see. Let's see what happens. Stay tuned. All right. So I removed the hard drive from the TV connection. And now I have it plugged into my daughter's laptop. As you can see, just a simple USB connection right there. And we're gonna come back to the hard drive and we're gonna turn it on. And of course the computer's over there. Well, the laptop is here, but the computer's right there. Well, the monitor. So let's see what happens. Power up button. Hard drive spinning up. Let me turn the volume down on the TV. All right, so over here at the computer, and just like that, it pops up in Windows. Let me zoom out some. Oh, I can't, can't zoom out. But anyways, so yeah, same as what we saw on TV. It's just that now we're on the computer, fiber optic, two terabyte. Um, let's go here to, let's go to yeah this PC. That's what I'm trying to get to. And as you can see, my daughter's laptop has 118 gigabytes total, which is approximately 120 gigabyte hard drive built into her laptop. But but plugging the hard USB hard drive in, now I can see the whole two terabyte hard drive as a external drive, basically. So let's go to properties. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to do this on camera. Let's go to properties. 
and of course it gives you all the information that you will see as if you had um, you know a regular hard drive attached go to tools hardware and it has the disk information um, we can do security it's, it basically acts as a hard drive a hard disk drive on a computer and of course you could you could leave it hooked up and install windows to this hard drive and boot from this disk drive if I wanted to um, assuming this is probably faster than what this hard drive is um, but of course going in here then I can you know edit all the videos and files and things of that nature so that's about it I mean I mean just to keep the video nice and simple and short that's that's basically it so nice enclosure nice USB hard drive enclosure I am impressed there are some cheaper options on Amazon but for this one to have the hard drive protected in a casing and the casing has a transparent window and it has a power connection to make sh make sure your hard drive is fully powered and getting the speeds it needs to your to, to your external devices such as a TV or even an Xbox. I mean, yeah, I could use this to expand the disk space of that Xbox right there. You know, the Series S only has 500 gigabytes, right? But if I add this to it and format it, then I can extend this this Xbox Series S to 500 gigabyte internal space and two terabyte external space and install games to this think about that ladies and gentlemen think about that if you got this system and you're running out of space you got to keep deleting your games get this get you a cheap hard drive off of Amazon for like fifty dollars and then get this casing for twenty dollars so about eighty dollars seventy dollars you can expand the memory of your Xbox Series S or Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 which whichever whichever system you have so it is what it is it's your boy Randall D Tech Geek RLD if you like this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button I'm trying to make more content I got more content coming you know what it is it's your tech guy hit that like button subscribe button and I'm out all right y'all stay blessed Oh, before I end the video, I also want to touch on something tech related. So I'm transferring this movie to from the, my daughter's laptop to the external hard drive. Of course, yeah, please, please mind the mess. Like, excuse the mess, you guys. But yeah, and as you can see, it's going at a good 120, 130 megabytes a second. That's pretty good. I mean, that's like a it's a 10 gigabyte. How big is this movie? I'll say it's about 10, 20 gigabyte movie and it says it'll be done in about two minutes that's not bad let me see if i can get the actual file size of this movie but the actual file size is 20 gigabytes and of course yeah this is bad boys in 4k and it's coming in at a good speed i mean 120 130 megabytes a second and that's megabytes not megabits mb capital mb so 130 me megabytes a second but of course this is on usb 2.0 i don't think my daughter's laptop has usb 3.0 um but at usb 2.0 you can see the indicator light blinking copy the movie to the hard drive so then when i plug it to the tv it'll be full quality so just a little tech spec little this little that okay i'm out y'all hit that like button subscribe button it's your boy tech geek rld y'all know my slogan they gonna learn today all right, y'all.